Johnny Rock Show. Rockin' 101, the Rock Station. Rockin' 101, the Rock Station, the Johnny Rock Show. Before we came on the air, uh, Mr. Joe Perry on the phone, he's uh, asking if Johnny Rock's my real name. Uh, my listeners know it's my real name. Uh, uh, why would I lie? Is Joe Perry your real name? As a matter of fact, it is, and I was surprised to to hear that people asked me if it was my real name. I mean, I, you know, when we first came out and I was doing interviews, people would say, is that, is that your real name? And I couldn't figure out why. I mean, it sounds like a normal name. It's the one I was born with, so uh, uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> so uh, anyway, should I call you Mr. Rock? Oh, not Mr. How about... Uh... Just call me Johnny. Just don't call me late for dinner. Welcome to the Johnny Rock Show. It's a pleasure. Hey, uh, you're doing something kind of special. This rock and roll fantasy camp. These things have been going on for a while, and I've been aware of them for a long time. Uh, But someone of your stature, so to speak, doesn't always sign up to do these. It's uh, taking place March 10th through the 13th, Hard Rock Cafe and Casino in uh, beautiful Hollywood, Florida, where our own Jennifer Wilde resides. Uh, go to rockcamp.com to sign up. What are you looking uh, looking forward to at this? This is crazy. Well, you know, it's uh, in this day of like the internet and YouTube and all that stuff. You know, you can you can go online with and get uh, you know uh, guitar tips and, and lessons from uh, uh, you know a lot of guitar. I mean. It's all out there, you know, on the internet and the skyping and all that. But to actually, uh, I think the, the biggest when I first started doing it, I thought the biggest thing was keeping it from being like a meet and greet. You know, I mean, obviously you want to like you know, uh, uh, like hook up with the, and get, a, get some pictures and stuff. But you know, it's really about sitting down with, uh, uh, and then you then all of a sudden it's, you know. I just look at it like I'm just another another guitar player out there trying to learn how to get better, and you know, um, and I know I've got a, a lot of my guitar, my my guitar playing has been you know out on the on on the air and on records, but you know there's a lot of great guitar players out there that um, it's great to sit on a couch from next to them and trade licks and you know and just talk about different tricks. And uh, there's some great, great players that come to these sh- to these uh, uh, camps. And uh, believe me, I I learn a lot from them. You know, especially the younger guys that, that are you know into some of the new bands and stuff. And uh, it's uh, that's why I, that's why I do it. Cause it's not just to, to to hook up with with fans and give them a, a kind of a uh, you know that opportunity, but it's like uh, just because you listen. The, the the playing field gets level pretty fast when you sit down and you know in front of somebody else who's got a guitar. Absolutely. You know? Well, uh, you know, there's a lot of great. Like I said, there's a lot of great guys, and then there's other people that that are just starting and they want to hear how, uh, how I played this or how I came up with that, and that's why I'm there to answer those questions and have some fun. Well, fun is uh, fun is my middle name. I wish I could go. What's up with uh, Vegas and Aerosmith? Is that done? Did the pandemic uh, shut that down forever? Or is that going to no, come back? No. no, good. No, not not at all. I mean, we were like we had plans to to do it uh, two years ago, and then come back again last year. And we've had to keep postponing it. But this year, we've uh, fortunately got uh, a run in. Uh, in June, uh, three weeks, and then in uh, then we have a, a kind of a fiftieth fiftieth uh, year celebration is, is coming up, uh, and to do to celebrate that, we're playing at Fenway Park in Boston, um, and I think it's in, in late September, and then then we do uh, two more three week runs in Las Vegas. And we will be probably going back to Vegas uh, off and on as long as we're playing. You know, we love we love it 
playing there. I mean, the sound is great. I don't think you get a better a better uh, uh, situation. It's not a not a, a huge place, and the sound is incredible. And you're 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 really close to the to the to the fans there. I mean, it's great. I mean, you're, you're it's it's one of the best experiences um, that I've uh, that we've played because the sound is. They built it for the sound. It's incredible. So, uh, plus there's a lot of stuff. There's production. We have like, uh, I, anyway, you can go online and see all that. But um, yeah, we're, we're, we're we love playing in Vegas, and but we will be as this thing s- settles down and and touring gets uh, a little easier and a little less uh, uh, dangerous. Let's say. Um, we will do our, you know, pick up the, that European run we we're going to do, and then just keep playing, playing around places. I want to put, start playing some of the places we played in the '70s and never went back to, oh. you know, in the states. You know, funny you should say that. I, I'm going to age so, myself. I was just a kid, but I saw Aerosmith for the first time in, uh, I think, St. Paul, Minnesota, on the Draw the Line tour. You remember that? Remember me that night? I was the one throwing up in the third row. No. <laughs> I don't know, man, but I do remember. I, I remember standing. Uh, there's that one hotel downtown, and uh, we, because it was kind of centrally located, we we stayed there for a couple of weeks at a time and got to know the, the city pretty well. And uh, yeah, I have some some uh, good memories of that uh, of that town. And you know, it's, we want to come back and, and hit some of those places before the the curtain comes down oh, man. whenever right. that's going to be i have no idea never gonna, never i say not coming down anytime soon good good man well listen once again the rock and roll fantasy camp with joe perry taking place march 10th through the 13th at the hard rock cafe and casino in hollywood florida visit rockcamp.com to sign up happy valentine's day joe perry what are you going to do for valentine's day oh, I, geez, I, when is it <laughs> it's <is> it? Monday. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay. Uh, <laughs> um, use your imagination. Okay, okay, you got it. I didn't mean to put you uh, on the spot. We well, uh, <laughs> no. we won't play that one for your for one your of, partner. One of, <laughs> it's, it's one of one of mine and Billy's uh, favorite holidays. Actually, it's just that. It, uh, since we don't know exactly, I don't know what exactly what day it is. We usually do fantasy, and we do Valentine's Day week, so we can spread it out. If you know what I mean. So anyway, uh, is that a pun? Yeah. Oh, so, uh, hey, hey, Joe uh, Perry, you're you're a pro. Happy. I better get off. I know. Me too. Hey, <laughs> happy Valentine's Day once again. Thanks for coming on the Johnny Rock Show. Okay. Okay. Thanks a lot. Man. Thank you. Happy. Bye. Johnny Rock Show, Rockin' 101, The Rock Station.